Hey, Arthur. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, well, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there.
Yeah. at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yeah. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards in the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha <laughs> ha oh, ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, eh? you had your feet up the whole time playing sick. And fondling that new scar, but you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. They're left here, towards roads. Now, as I was saying, that could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's obsessing. Oh, so I still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing him. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. 
Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea, <laughs> back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, this oh. again. Fine, damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumped them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable donations and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the tracks. Whoa, whoa. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, come! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do what I with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. up here. Join us on board. All right. Hey, get on that train. Master. All your Captain. Go on ahead. Everybody stay calm. Sure. Sure. Everybody will get oh. shot. Go. Everything you got. Money. Valuable. Advance to conflict, my dear. Empty your pockets, mister. Let's make this Be on your people. way. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bad's full. Get involved, Give me everything you got. Don't need it. I ain't got nothing. Wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Money. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag. Give me what you got, mister. You won't get hurt. Money? Nothing else. Make me hurt you. I want to count to three. Sick is better than dead, lady. I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be... Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Right, Jack? Tough guy, huh? You sure about that? You show this Why son of a bitch we ain't playing quick, around here. Come on. Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn Anything you got. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't be in. Son of a bitch. Come on, cup it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Gonna need all your money, my friend. You got a big problem. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Arthur, look out. Empty your pockets, you mister, me? and you can be on your way. What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Ah! <laughs> 
Chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. We're looking good in here. Oh. Gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. And this racket's in there. Holy bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know. That's what's worrying me. There's some decent stuff. A problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horse Smith, get ready. You may come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you right away? That way, neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn up. <laughs> and get off the train. We won't tell you again.
Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this lot was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. 